All right, y'all. We're into a game of life. Really, just the stunt podcast. Um, <laughs> which map do we feel like playing today, y'all? Spooky. Uh, well, spooky. Spooky. I mean, we have to. Gotta take to. advantage of the spooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Take a full advantage of spooks. Yeah. Uh, let me play. Let me hide the screen for a second. Haunted Hills. Uh, y'all ready for the code? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one moment. I'll play with friends. Yes. It's gonna be three three four nine. It's like how you hide the screen and then tell us it. Yeah. <laughs> Just said. I figure there's like a seven second delay. Yeah. And yeah. Fair. Fair. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see what car I want this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know I'll what? That. I'm gonna. Just like Jack Skeleton, I'm bringing Christmas to Halloween Town. Nice. <laughs> I dig that. I really dig that. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just reminded me of the really awful movie that I saw um, Drew Gooden talk about, which was Christmas in August, and it was so good and so bad. And I really want us to watch it all for a bad movie night. You know? <laughs> um, I'm totally down. I'm totally down. But basically, for those that don't know, in that movie, the UN has made a resolution to make punishing your children illegal, so kids can just get away with whatever and you're never allowed to have any kind of, like, punishment for them for anything. Oh my god, that um, would be a horrible world to live in. And the kids, once they learn this, decide that, like, they're just gonna be terrible and just riot and, yeah. like, yeah. do everything. Yeah, of course. Um, of course. And then Santa like learns about this because he sees that his naughty list is exploding. <laughs> <laughs> what? I hate this movie already. I love it. This isn't the one with David Harbour, is it? No, no, okay, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Look, that's oh. just like the Purge kids edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Purge, miss. My goodness. Okay, Where right. are we going? Where are you going? Oh my gosh, Ash, there's a little tiny spoiler on your car. Look at the mommy. Oh, there's a little tiny the baby background. spoiler there, yeah. yeah. How did the UN even enforce this? That's the part that didn't make sense, is because once they enforced it, all the parents were like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Well, yeah. it's just, it's just yeah. boomers following yeah, we'll the letter to the law. Yeah. We'll agree with that law, no questions. Yeah. No questions, yep. <laughs> also, like, what does that mean? Like, no, like, you can't be like, hey, don't push your sibling. Li yeah, literally, you can't tell your kids to not. Oh no! This, this sounds is why I'm never having children. Ooh, a vampire butler or a witch? I mean, the witch, obviously, but in my heart, vampire butler. <laughs> but in your butt, witch. <laughs> butt witch. Mm -hmm. Butt witch. Uh, butt witch. Hey, bonus! Look at that embezzlement. Look, I'm just casting good spells on myself. Ah, that's fair. Mm, oh, fate. I'm manifesting Surprise, things. baby. Surprise, baby. That's what you got. Nope. Oh. Nope. Action, surprise, baby. I mean, ah. I mean uh, throw a party. Throw a party. Surprise party. Surprise. It's a party. <laughs> Invite me to that party, Jazz. <laughs> Anna, you're invited. Uh, Jazz, what yeah. kind of party are you throwing? Uh, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. What kind of th party are you throwing? What's the theme? Um, Christmas is coming early to town. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then what's it going to be once it's actually, like, December 25th? Does Christmas just not happen then? And then my birthday happens. <laughs> that's true. Well, it's not then on it's the 25th. Then it's all about Jazzy. Listen, <laughs> I, I, that's what I celebrate. Preparation for Jasmine's birthday yeah. happens on Christmas, mm -hmm. December 25th. Indeed. Indeed. Well, it's the 26th, but you know. I'm saying that we got to prepare. That's what December 25th is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in reality, though, I never do anything for my birthday because nothing's really open. Yeah. And everybody's like burnt out from Christmas, so I'm just exactly. like, you know what? Everybody can just relax. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll see each other at, at New Year's. Yeah, exactly. New Year's is, is the mm -hmm. the time. Jazz, you gotta invite me over because I do nothing for Christmas, and I would rather be completely occupied with you. I'll be like, I can't go to Christmas dinner because I'm going to my friend's birthday party. You know, with my, with my brother moving to Florida, I'm going to see if, like, my family wants to just do, like, a Christmas lunch, then a Christmas dinner. Mm. A lunch mm. and a dinner? Mm -hmm. Well, Pass. I mean, I... I, I think I, she I was saying rather than a dinner. Oh, yeah. oh I see. Because, like, my family traditions on Christmas is always, like, we go to Ash's place, uh, Ash's family's on Christmas Eve, and then we go to uh, my family's on Christmas Day. 
Mm-hmm. And we have dinner, we open presents, and then we go home. And it's always so late by the time I get back. <laughs> I'd See, rather get things family, done early. <laughs> in my family, I think I've told y'all, but my mom wants those decorations down immediately. So oh, we wake up no. at like 8 a.m. on Christmas, mm-hmm. go, over, go over to Fletch and Tracy's house and, and open presents with the kids. We're out of there by 10.30 and my mom uh, has, is tearing stuff down and it's done by noon. Wow. That's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. No joke. Like the, the decorations are gone? Yeah, it's all you, you. She takes all the lights down. We take the tree down. We wow. do everything, and it's out. Yeah. Um, it's not like she doesn't it? like it. She's not humbugging it. She's just one of those people who she's like, once the day's over, you should not have the decorations up. Which I get it. I get, I get that it. too. But it's just like that's. You think it's, it's extreme? It's just um, it's um, no, it's not that it's extreme. It's just that like I feel like every other family I know is just like, oh, the lights are nice, leave them up until like middle of January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's our Christmas. It's a business. Oh no, Ash is throwing a party. He got jealous <laughs> of Jazz's party. Yep. I'll say I know that me. I've mentioned this multiple times, but I feel like so my family has always oh. done Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve. Um, uh-huh. And it wasn't until later that I realized that that's not the norm. Um, yeah, that's what we do too. But like, uh, there's there's a lot of people that do their dinner on Christmas itself. And for me, it's always been Christmas Eve dinner and then Christmas morning presents. And then by the end of that, like, you're just so tapped out on yeah. Christmas yeah. energy that you don't yeah. want to do anything else. You know what? This um. makes me so glad that I don't like my family and I don't celebrate <laughs> Christmas. Guess what I do? I sleep do in. Do? And then I play video games, and nice. then sometime during the night, Ryan and I order Shandong, and that's oh, that's sure. my yeah. day. Shandong, All right. nice. Yeah, and that's it. Um, it's amazing. Oh, well, there's your tradition right there. Also, there was there was a solid like five you. year period between middle school and high school where after Christmas Day, um, after presents being opening, uh, me me and Nick, we uh, me and my my middle school buddy Nick, we would call each other and be like. So should we like come over to each other's house and just like play with each other's toys? <laughs> <laughs> and that was part of Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to a concert. No, I think pretty much <laughs> once I had opened my presents as a kid, I would just go into my bedroom and it's like I'm playing with my toys and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's like leave me alone. I'm playing GameCube. Oh hell hey, yeah! Thank rude. you. Listen, rude. I needed it. But that hey, was a negative. Yeah, I saved you. Look at that. <laughs> You're did. welcome. Fruitsonomics. <laughs> um, let's skip that. Woo! All right. Chris, you'll be proud. You're a witch? I'm a witch! You're a witch. One of these years, I'd wow, like to dress up again for Halloween. I miss it. Oh, yeah. So, so um, Chris and I were talking, and uh, I was thinking about, like, I kind of want to maybe work on a cosplay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was trying to think, like, what should I do? And I think... I've landed on, I want to do Zidane from yes. FF9. <laughs> yes. Because it's the kind of thing that I think um, most of the pieces you can buy and modify and not have to like make your own stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I don't know, I think that'll be fun. So uh, yeah, I haven't dressed up in a while, but I'm thinking maybe it's time, maybe it's time. I'm Ooh, sure you can find job. like a Avril Lavigne um, tight crop yeah, I need that little vest. I need that little vest. Yep. And then I need like the little frilly shirt. Yep. Um, the biggest thing is gonna be constructing the tail, I think. That's uh, easy. But those are those exist. I just gotta run a wire through one. And then yeah, poofy a pants. wire and a foam. Or not foam, just um like stuffing. Hey, thanks. Like animal yeah. stuffing. Or you could yeah. just get a pool noodle. Well that's no, I, I'm imagining no. they do have like Shave it down. You know, tails out there that you can get to yeah, just like just buy hang one. behind you. So I could just do that and then run a wire through one of those. Yeah, they're not too difficult to make. Yeah. I made one for my Lottie cosplay from Animal Crossing. Nice. For cute. But yeah, that's that's my thinking because it should be an easier one, right? Chrissy was telling me I should go as B from Slime Rancher and there's a lot of construction that would go into that. Yeah, I mean, even making the gun would be really hard. Yeah, the backpack, you kidding me? You gotta be pro to make that backpack. 
I mean, you, you got just, Brian J. Got, yeah, I was like, you mm-hmm. just commissioned Brian J. <laughs> can you 3D print me a full size backpack? I'm so sure you can. can. Uh, yep. No, no. I have seen Brian's printers, and they're good. No, but they it's aren't in that pieces. big. You, you put do them it in pieces. parts. Yeah. It would be okay. a lot of pieces. I mean, it would be, yeah, okay, then it would still be a construction. I mean, yeah. look, Brian J., let's work on a project. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're, but you're not wrong. I should think about commissioning Brian to help me with mm-hmm, some of this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Brian, if you're out there, I love you, buddy. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> not last, thank God. <laughs> I rolled a three, and I was so like, flipping. Oh, yeah. jazz! It was on. Right. Oh, now I'm in trouble. I don't Pick think I'm going to get any money. Yay! I was on the ten, and then it just... Meep. We both get second, Anna. I'm fine with that. Yep. I'll take none a. for me. Sorry, Bryce. Do you get none in this situation? I get ten. I get the bottom. I don't get the. Oh, that's right. You yeah. get the ten. Those are ten, ten is no better than nothing. Third place. You get both. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If I end up having to pay one of y'all, I'm gonna be so salty. All right. Here we go. Give me money. Jazz, um, what do you want to be for Halloween? Well, me and Anna were talking about maybe being like Nandor and Laszlo. Or ah, that's good. That's good. There is not enough time. To there is do not that. enough time. Oh, no. Rickonomics! I mean, if in a perfect world, I would like to try to be Nandor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Laszlo, so that's what we're doing. Or we're Nadia, or you Nadia, could be. Or we could I, be I Nadia and Laszlo. I'll be anybody. Listen, I'll be in. Can I be Jackie Daytona? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 100% yes. You just, you just gotta get, put on the toothpick. That's it. Exactly. Who am I? Jackie <laughs> Daytona. <laughs> uh, but if I were to cosplay, I don't know. I'd probably be like, maybe... Um... God, I have to think about that, actually. There's so many good characters, and I just don't know Oh, who yes, to be. I'll give myself some money. Don't mind if I do. Mm, delicious money. Chat, while Jasmine thinks, help me think about what I should be. For Halloween? Mm hmm. Timmy Turner yeah. from Fairly Odd Parents. Colin Robinson. <laughs> no. I want to try and get a new job. Hopefully, it'll be better Ooh. than the one before. What were you before? A monster herder? Okay. Yeah, I was only making 99k, and I can make more than that. Yeah, yeah like there you that. go. Be a witch. Oh, we're witch all witches. Up. We're starting to coven. It's Hocus Pocus 3, y'all. Let's go. Oh, be yeah, Nacho chat. with a little rubber bat? <laughs> bat? I could be my Warhammer character. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. What I really want to do for Jazz and I is have Jazz be Nacho, and then I want to cosplay as uh, Kristen Shaw's character, the guide or something. Oh, yes, we definitely need to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be so fun. <laughs> Taxes. Yes. And then yes. remember, Ash was going to be one of our wraiths. Yes, that's and right. He was going to follow us around. <laughs> yes, a hundred. We have to do this. Yeah, that's that would be that would be an easy mm-hmm. cosplay to do, honestly. John Cena from the Quarry. Just bloody John Cena. Oh my God, bloody John Cena. Is Cena actually in it, or is it just somebody <laughs> no? Looks we like just it? joked okay. about it. Okay. We still need to finish that game. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Halloween jazz. That's what we're doing. Man, I am tearing through life. You really are. You're tearing. But, but I think you're in the in the lead. So. Oh, I should be Scott from Monster Prom. Yeah. That would be cute. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, you'd be cute, Ash. Speaking of which, um, Monster well, Prom three, right? Yeah, yeah. that's road coming trip. out. Mm-hmm, Monster mm-hmm. Road Trip. Yeah. I'm actually really excited about that game. Yeah, and uh, the demo that the we DLCs played was really fun. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to be Juan. You're gonna get Juan. Gotta get Juan. So, out of all the Hazel or the uh, the DLCs, I'm interested in either Hazel or Glitch. Oh, you game! Come on! Did you see it again? I saw it. Ten. Even, I haven't even looked at any of the DLC characters. Uh, um, um, I saw them tweeted. They look really glitch. cute. Yeah, glitch. I saw Glitch. Yeah, I didn't see any. Um, yeah, the and one that you Hazel. said, Hazel, who looks either like a Mothman or it's a or... Moth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and hey, then look, we tied. Juan, and then Juan the magical cat. Yeah. Look, I helped you out, Price. We tie and we both get 40,000 and 10k. Alright. I'm That's cool fair. with that. I'm cool with that. Good job, Jazz. Mm-hmm. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Uh, Y'all I have be almost much- the- 
You all have sure. almost the exact same amount of money, each of you. Really? You're, yeah, you're all at like 540. Ash should be Mugtuck from Potionomics. <laughs> That'd be good. There you go, Jazz. Have Thank some you. of my money. Because <laughs> I felt bad about you losing. Did you? Did you really? Yeah. Oh, oh, come yep, on. Yep. <laughs> yep. Do you still feel bad? No. <laughs> now I feel angry. Now I'm so, sad. Absolutely fair. Here's the problem about Halloween. Well, not the problem. It's just that every, once you start cosplaying, you're like, meh about Halloween because you're like, right. I do it all the time, all year right. round. So it's not special. Well, that's where it comes down to being more about whatever traditions you're into, you know? Like, for me, it's watching horror movies, you know? For some people, it's going to the pumpkin patch or whatever. Because, like you say, <laughs> cosplayers do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish that the weather would actually make it feel more like Halloween. Like, mm. yeah, it's so hot. It's so hot. It's like 85 <laughs> degrees today. Is it? In yeah. October, y'all. In October, the world is about to be on fire. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just you thinking of a uh, Smash Mouth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Jazz and I got to do karaoke at TwitchCon, and it was great. It's been so long since we've karaoke. It was also, so good. my new favorite karaoke song is The Wellerman. <laughs> Yes, that was so much Ooh. fun. That was so With a much weird fun. remix. Yeah, it was like a remix version. So oh, it was wow. just, it was so do good. karaoke on the cruise. Yeah, Ooh. I'm gonna karaoke all the time. <laughs> also, this is the first time I got to sing ABBA on a uh, on karaoke, and that was great. Jenny nice. and I got to sing BTS, which was so cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. The BTS songs. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Also, yeah, I like how sing. what Go we ahead. sang a Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance, and I was like, I don't know any of these songs. <laughs> and they were like, How? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm really old. Chat just said the most depressing thing. Mm. He said, "Just think, it's the coolest October for the rest of your life." Oh God, it's true. That's true. Oh my gosh, don't say that. That's true. The world sucks. I don't need you to remind me. The world's on fire. <laughs> How about yours? How about yours? <laughs> we also got to sing Toss a Coin to Your Witcher, which was mm -hmm. super fun. Nice. We had a fun little karaoke time. Mm hmm. Yeah, everybody bailed on us after like the fourth song. <laughs> Like, well, okay. that's because they had a previous engagement. It wasn't because we were bad. <laughs> we were bad. I think I, I was like, how do you guys feel about ABBA? And they are like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> they are like, you can have this room all you want till 8.30. We're gone. Just don't ruin ABBA for me. Okay. House time. Give them houses. Ooh, Oof. haunted dorms. Oof, so the ground but do I go? I gotta do the dorm, sadly. Look how haunted you, it is. Price given to the Rickonomics. I'm not going into Rickonomics. It's not happening. I don't Why? think I've gotten the max price on a house in like 20 episodes. Coward. Ooh, which ABBA song? Chat Look, I'm already going to lose. <laughs> I can, t I can oh, feel I it. Oh, I did Mamma Mia. 100%. <laughs> mm, Mamma Mia. That just you did your dancing queen? Again. Mama. What? Okay. I, can, I would like to stop paying people. That would make me feel. No, Mommy is great. <clears throat> uh, what do I? What do I have? You know what? F family. We've been talking too much about family, and it's giving me anxiety. So I'm gonna go the up other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give hey. Ash more money. <laughs> Absolutely. Come oh on. My gosh. You better pay me back for this, Ash. No. <laughs> it's Are you serious? That was insane! Oh, oh, Anna, it's the worst. Oh, no. Is, I'm leaving what, now. Goodbye. This is what happens when you turn your back on family. <laughs> Jeez. It's that money drain. You start paying some guy, it's or you pay Nash over and over again, then you start hitting taxes over and over again. It's like, these are the Fast and Furious rules. Uh, these are the Fast and the Furious rules? It's not about mm -hmm. the ride, it's about the writer. <laughs> exactly, Jess. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done here. <laughs> you always <laughs> <have> dorks. 
I'm gonna oh, take man. Hippo and we're gonna go. Right, Hippo? She's Did she looking. hiss? No. It's like the only sound she makes. That's not true. I she know, yells. It's not. She's mm. got to yell too. Okay. Yeah, Lana's got an I'm bored, and it doesn't stop. No, because Lana's a princess. She really is. She really is. She's dainty. She's very, very um, gentle. Genteel. Yeah, I, I, like legitimately, it's it's, it's really cute. Word. Like she will, if she's like reaching towards you and wants to like get your attention or touch you or whatever, she doesn't just like pat you. She like so slowly and carefully touches you as lightly as she oh, can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm. it's the cutest. It's, it's good the job. cutest. Let's get a better so job. Right next to Jazz there on the there left, there's this garage, and inside of it, I saw like there's a little like, uh, a, like chop a horse. Yeah. Yeah, there's something in there. I was trying to get a better look at it. It's like a piranha plant. Well, it looked like there was like a, a lawnmower or something that was like moving or, or something. No, it was Gosh, like darn it. crunching something. Ash, what business are you in? <laughs> what a, business are you doing? No, the do business you do it. of taking other people's and, uh, money. You and I what? are getting screwed by the yeah. man right now. It's true. By Ash the man. Ash exactly. is the man, and we are business getting screwed. Business giving you the business. For and real. Business is booming. Business Vincent Adultman over here is doing a business. <laughs> Ash, you looking to expand your business? <clears throat> I'm looking to expand your business. I think, I think Ash needs that sweater that I sent you earlier, Jazz. Yeah. Speaking of sweater, I need that right now. <laughs> Which sweater? <laughs> it's... Hold on, I'll send it to you in just a second. Second chance to get married? Well done. Second chance is... Let's see. Kipo. Kipo is so fat now, everybody. <laughs> she she got her radiation. She got her radiation and her she's, thyroid's better. She's uh, the she's feeling great. Yeah. She's the chunkiest I've ever seen her because before with her hyperthyroid, since she just can't regulate anything, mm -hmm. she just would lose weight and be skinnier and skinnier. Now she's now she's, she's getting chunking. free fed. Yeah, she, and she just eats everything. She Listen, she had the herself. radiation, now she's spider cat, okay? Yep, yep. She's not spider cat. She's just Hulk? fat cat. Oh, okay. What's the late? Who's the laziest superhero? Thor was in one of them for a bit. <laughs> Probably Deadpool. Who's the um, sleepiest? No, nah, who's the laziest? I mean, like, that really is... There are some, for like, sure. I'm gonna put this in general chat because it's price you need to see it too. <laughs> there you go, Anna. <laughs> That's good. That's good. It's pink. It's pink. You would appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, it's good. Hippo is not fur chonky. She's just chonky. Mm. Yeah, Archer seen is a fluffy. Have chonky. you seen the chonk scale? I have uh, seen yes, the chonk scale. Uh, yes. uh, uh, you've oh, he coming. I wanted so bad to print that out put that at work. Because <laughs> it's so good. It is. All right, who's going to win this one, chat? Does chat votes? Because I think it's huh. Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think it's going to be me. I got this in the bag, y'all. So we were talking earlier about collections, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... It, we mentioned that Jazz has some Funko Pops that are worth a lot of money. So, mm -hmm. in my collection... What? Oh, come no. on, game! <laughs> I don't want to steal your Funko Pops. Why would I do that? I, where would I put them? Somewhere. I don't even, I don't even like Funko safe. Pops. You don't like class? <laughs> no. <laughs> I like... I like luxury. Oh, I mean, they're luxurious. Like, are yeah. they? Just look at her Sephiroth wall scrolls, Jazz. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> All right. And now, I'm, now I'm recognizing it. But uh, so I was thinking about like, what is the most expensive collectible that I have? And mm. it's definitely Rule of Rose. And my mm -hmm. entire PlayStation Two horror collection mm -hmm. is—it's very good because I have a lot of rare games. Nice. Mine's yeah. probably a Pokemon card that's stuck under, you know, in my oh, mom's yeah. basement. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't think I, I definitely have a first uh, first edition uh, Charizard. foil Charizard. Yeah, <gasps> ghost, ghost ship. How do you see a ghost ship? <gasps> Look, there's a shark outside. It's your yacht. It's perfect. It's a stumped yacht. Stumped yacht. What happened? To all I used to have so many crowns back in the day, mm -hmm. back in my childhood. I feel like back then I had a lot of Pokemon cards, and they're probably somewhere in my parents' house. Yeah. But like, I I don't really want to go over there to go looking. <laughs> There's no point in me going over there to go look for them. I used to have some Alpha and some Beta um, Magic Gathering cards, but then my mom sold them all back ah, when I was in middle school. She knew the value. Yeah. Wait, I uh, no, she did. She would have held like on to them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I Wait, actually don't know what. The seriously? What? I. I Oh, foil Charizard that's not even first edition is apparently going for $850 on eBay. First edition is like anywhere what quality. No, th these are these are top quality. Uh, yeah, probably. that's that's what it really comes down to is the mint. Did you not mint your cards as a child? No, I played with them. <laughs> oh, I meant I was I had like it's sleeves upon sleeves. I mean, there. Yeah, no. The those ones, they're probably in okay, like pretty good condition, because we did put them in like a booklet, you know, all the <laughs> important <laughs> ones. Um, but I mean, it definitely was handled. It definitely was used in games. It probably has some roughing on the edges, you know. So, I, I, if I found it and sold it, it would not get top billing. But probably a couple hundred bucks. But I mean, like these are still going for like. Anywhere from four to ten k. Oh one yeah, is, the four k one has like a bent corner, and yeah, you would be able to sell this for four k easily. All right, well, I got to go digging through my mom's basement now. Yeah, especially if yeah, this is ridiculous, eBay. Yeah. What the yeah. heck? Yeah, they it, recently there's been lots of speculation around Pokemon cards. Like right now, they're very um, screw it. Um, they're very. Uh, Lucrative because people like right now are all about it. It's sort of, it, it popped up around the NFT stuff, so I have a feeling yeah, that all yeah. the prices gonna are going to drop. Like all NFTs are super not popular at the moment, so I wonder yep. if that has affected the other collectors' markets as well. Probably because um, like Pokemon cards and freaking I don't know collector shoes and stuff popped up around the same mm -hmm. time too, sort mm -hmm. of. So Ash. I gotta wonder if all those values kind of. Mm -hmm. dip yeah, well, because there's a, there's a ton of people that use all those, you know, they, they read the markets and they jump in early and then they, you know, rug pull essentially, essentially with all those like prices. There's, there's even freaking businesses that build uh, out, like, essentially investor plans. Like, invest in us and we will invest in Pokemon cards for you. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Wow. I think That's apart ridiculous. from those Funko Pops that Price told me about, uh, I think my most expensive thing is Ash for Christmas bought me a, um, a City Pop album on vinyl. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. And you were talking about how that was a little bit expensive. It's been, I mean, we're talking like less than 200 bucks. But it's, it's still, still like mm, a for decent For a vinyl, yeah. certainly, yeah. Um, I'll learn another language. I don't know. Like, for me, like, where do people, like, blur the line between just, like, it's a collector's item and it's just an item? Because I certainly have items in my house that are worth mm. a lot of money. Mm. Well, no, um, I mean, collector's item, I mean, it has to, like, be deliberately, you know, built as a collection. Mm -hmm. And I think what we're talking about, because I think we specifically said, like, what's their most expensive, like, yeah, collectible, you know? Or just, mm. I guess, just, like, gaming-related item, right? Yeah, if we, that's a better focus. Like, if we're talking just purely gaming related yeah. item, that'd be an interesting one to think about. Because now that I think about I mean, it, I probably have some action figures that are worth a little bit hidden away in my mom's basement. Because I had a lot of those. And, like. I have some, yeah, I have some old school uh, Ninja Turtles action figures. I was going to say He Man, Ninja Turtles, a bunch of those. G.I. Joe's, that kind of stuff. They're probably worth something. The older something is, is the more people will pay for it. It's it's bonkers, except for the car. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it, again, that ends up becoming a collectible. Because that's the other thing. Well, it's yeah. Like, sometimes something's so old that eventually it becomes collected. You want eventually. yeah, you want the um, body or you want something about it because it's, it's like, like your. 
I, I'll just say this. Ah. I looked the other day. I was interested in this, just like as a maybe something down the line. So I looked up what um, my first car was and to see if I could buy one. And um, <laughs> the one I had before was one that my brother had gotten set on fire. Whoa! Uh, so it had like melted stuff on the side, and like one of the door handles didn't work. It was a mess. Yeah. But it was a um, a BMW. So oh. so it's like this burnt up <laughs> horrific mess of a BMW. But I love that car. But I was looking up like, okay, 1995 BMW uh, 5 Series. What, what's going on there? 40K. Well, that's a, at the moment price, the used car market's also insane. Is my it? Yeah, my understanding is that... Um, all used cars are like essentially at around 90% of what the new car value is at. Like they're just, uh, and the stock of them is super low, which is also right, driving the price up. Right. Because new car stock is also ridiculously low. Sorry, right I got now. distracted. <laughs> um, like my, one of my coworkers from, from my other job talked to me about how he bought a car three months ago and he just got it this last week. Like, wow. It, it just wow. had to wait for a super long time. It wasn't even like a fancy. It was just like a Toyota. Like, yeah, um, that's yeah. weird. That's bonkers. That's bonkers. Based on all the Pokemon cards that I'm looking at, my Pokemon binder is worth a lot of money. If they were to sell at this, right? right. At I mean, prices, yeah. you you have to like probably send them off to get like yes. verified or whatever. Yes, you do. Um, you do. Hundred percent. You have to get them verified. What does that even mean? There's like an organization you can send them to, and they'll give it a grade for what quality it's in. Mm. Um, and, and so, also, I think just certify that it's like not a fake. Basically. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> I was like, this is a, these haven't left my binder since 1999. Yeah, yeah. well, a likely story. Uh, yeah. You expect me to trust the word of someone named Peachiana? Yeah. Gosh, <laughs> how dare you? That was my crown. I still, I still remember my uncle being like. These cards are going to be worth nothing. I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, Beanie nope. Babies were what were going to be worth nothing. Yeah, I was like, Pokemon's going to live forever. Mm. Also, I don't care. I love Pokemon. Yeah. So. No, and I mean, they they were skyrocketing in price back when they were out. Yeah. And even like they continued to like it wasn't something like Beanie Babies where it had a bottom. Because like you say, Pokemon's around forever. Yep. <sighs> he bought a glass of my shin. Okay. Did y'all hear about the mess um, when uh, McDonald's was doing their Pokemon thing for like um, no. Happy and stuff? I think I vaguely remember this. Like, didn't people just storm them? Oh, people like it was so many adults coming and ordering like 30, 40, 50 mm -hmm. Happy Meals or something mm -hmm. at once. Yep. And like, you know, they couldn't keep up with it. So a lot of stores were just like, we are not doing we have no Pokemon cards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we, we will not fill those orders. <laughs> Which must be child fair. to yeah. her ch child meal. Exactly. You're like, quick, I need children. <laughs> Where can ah, I get them? This game is so mean to me today. <sighs> I have landed on taxes three times. Maybe four? Um, but yeah. Yeah. Pokemans. I'm trying to still think, like, what's. This isn't gaming related, but my, my grandpa was really into uh, collecting coins for a time, and so I have like mm -hmm. a sort of Roman coin that's Whoa, in like oh, that's cool. In like a protective thing. Um, That'll always yeah, be worth yeah. something. Yeah. That's um, cool. It's probably worth, like at the time, it was in the 90s that he got it, I think it was worth like 800 bucks back mm -hmm. then. Damn. Um. um for gaming specifically, I don't like legitimately probably just my PS5. If I'm being honest. <laughs> oh well, yeah. If we're going there, then like it's, yeah, it's a console. Cool. Yeah. I guess that's it's all our PCs. It? It, it's all of our PCs. That's oh, what it is. Yeah. It's like my 3080 Ti. That's yeah. What it is. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're going down that route, unquestionably it is our computers. Mm -hmm. yes. Um. Oh man. No, I don't know, like Jazz. That. If we ever wanted to sell our Majima hangers, those would probably go for fifty dollars. <laughs> I didn't get my Majima <laughs> hanger for you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I need it. I need it. <laughs> uh, I put it. I was like, oh, I have both of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> I still love that picture I took of you. Oh I've my never God, seen you happier. <laughs> it's so that was yeah. It was such a fun. I was like, quick, <laughs> quick, get a picture of me and the Majimas. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was pretty good. It's adorable. That's a solid picture. Hell yeah. Got my crown back. It made me giggle. <laughs> it makes me giggle still looking at it. You were so happy. You're like, ah. Um, oh, thank you for this money price. Just oh my gosh. Rick economics going on. No. <laughs> oh man. I'm like someone who's like, look, I'm going soon. So I'm going to take out a whole bunch of loans uh, here for y'all. Lucky day. Yeah. Click some money. Hey. Would have liked it a little earlier, you know? <laughs> that would have been good. Yeah. Also, isn't the new Pokemon coming out real soon? Yeah, November. I'm very excited like, about oh, that. So wow. deep or something like that. Yeah. I'll give myself some more money. It looks so interesting because it's going to be like set in what is essentially like Spain. And mm -hmm. uh, there's some mechanics that actually look really interesting and kind of reduce the redundancy of like fighting a bunch of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Like you could actually send your Pokemon out to actually just auto like, Oh, that's cool. Fight for you. Yeah. Um, November 18th, Chad is corrected. Thank you. November and 18th. It sounds like the fire gym leader is sort of like the rival or like the the bad the not Gary? the bad guy. No, it's like they're the, the, the they're like the the bad group of like the school, like they're the bad boys, you know what I mean? They're, the fire oh, okay. nation. they're like bikers and, and yeah. like, you know, greasers yeah. and stuff like that. But um they introduced like their leader in like a giant, like almost like Japanese like um what are those like huge tricked out vans or buses? I have like no a idea VW about. bus kind of thing? No, let me see if I can look this up. Uh or like one of those music touring buses. It's like a biker van. Like a biker club. Mm -hmm. But it's like a huge tricked out like um, custom van. It looks really neat. Ooh. It's just a turtle van, okay? Yeah. Oh, paying back those loans. Yeah, I'll pay back three. I wouldn't want to, if I paid for all of them, I would be down on no money again. I'd probably get more. I am. I want a Pokemon game that allows me to join Team Rocket. All right. I know. I want there's that so a, bad. There's a mod, right? Yeah, there's a yeah. mod, but Jazz that's played it. I played yeah. the mod. It was fun, but there were some things I didn't like about it. Oh sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, but like, I want like an official one where it's just like, look, there you, you can go, join. Price. You can either be there's Thanks. two different paths. You can go down the yeah. the, the, bad the good path, path and good or the path. bad path, and I want to go yeah. the bad path. I'd love it if you could just play as Jesse and James, you know? Right. right. Great. Or just, just have them be, like, the gym leaders, basically. Oh my god, yes, the Team please. Rocket Path. Yeah. Um, That'd be I like so that cute. On TikTok this week, anyway, it's been going around that a lot of people have never noticed that in the show, every time Team Rocket appears and does a pose, it's always an R. How could you not yeah. know that? Yeah. yeah, that's the whole, yeah. No, it's, it's like the, the hair Rocket. turns into, a, like, the R... Yeah. Yeah. I, I've never noticed it. I, I never too noticed it. Too subtle yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Team Rocket, so. I mean, and I was going to say, I think maybe Dragon Ball primed me because of like the Ginyu Force poses and stuff like that, just to like yeah. mm -hmm. pay attention to that. But yeah, I remember that. Jesse and James are fine, but don't steal people's pets, y'all. Listen, don't make your pets fight for your living. All right. Yeah, Jesse and James <laughs> are stealing. Pets you could argue that they abusers. are liberating them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you go down the, ro uh, the like, road of trying to talk about ethics in Pokemon, that is a road you do not want to go down. Black and white <laughs> was all about that. <laughs> I think like I think it was black and white where it's just like we want people to stop fighting with their Pokemon, let them be <laughs> free. <laughs> Ooh boy! Please, no one take money from me. <laughs> Jesse and James was my pan awakening. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, it's true. It's and James. my Polly. Polly <laughs> awakening. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Sell the sell house. My, no, yeah. I'm gonna get some more gigantic sunglasses. Oh I can goodness. sell the house later. Don't you dare steal my piggy crown. It's the only I'm thing not. I have left in this world. <laughs> Listen, Price, I would never do that to you. I'm coming for you it. You say that. <laughs> I say what <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but <laughs> I do say that. Just don't listen to the intent behind my words. Indeed, indeed. I got dug into such a pit in this game, <laughs> and that Team Rocket was like the first fan fiction I ever wrote. Oh, really? Well, oh, the yeah. beginning of I Am a Writer. Yep. 
Nice. Well, it's not the beginning of, of as a writer, but it was the yeah. first experience into fan fiction. Gotcha. Yeah, I never uh, never wrote any, but I did read some. I don't think that will ever see the light of day oh, because no. it is it is on a floppy disk somewhere. Oof. So I don't even know. Don't copy that floppy either. I mean, I still have all my old floppy disks somewhere. Why? Why? <laughs> because they have fan fiction on them. <laughs> that no, no one else what? must ever perceive them. Listen, that, yeah, that no one else. It'll be well, like, like I need to hoard them so that no yeah, one can ever find and, them. And exactly. As well, bury me with my floppies. <laughs> 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 and then it's gonna be like in Ghostbusters, someone's going to like rage your copy exactly. for that, oh gosh. that spirit form guide. Form a whole religion around Jesse and James making out with each other or something. <laughs> Meow, that's oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll oh find it gosh. thousands of years from now and be like, oh, yep. this is history. Yep. Oh, this is what humans were up to. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed that they worshipped a cat god that was followed by his two servants. Yeah. <laughs> That's just every cat. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I've gotten very lucky on this. Tobin's fanfiction spirit guide. Yep. <laughs> you know Ray writes those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to sell some houses. I know, that's, Meg, you bring up a good point, because if the internet ever goes away and we never have, I've like, already made a, my choices. a collection of that, no one will ever get to see my good fan Hey! Fiction. I've already made my choices. I know exactly where I'm clicking on the next one. The only get to see matter. my shitty it ones. It doesn't matter. I think that was a good one, too. Eh, Prob 98. 98 uh, is good. It was probably the, the second smallest. Not bad, you know? You're now um, on the same level as Ash is, I think. Maybe. I gotta hold on to this crown, and so Anna better not take it from me in some way. I mean, I. it's gonna be highly it's unlikely. Possible. It's highly unlikely, but it is possible. Because you got seven pigs. You are. You have seven as well. You just got I to have seven. seven pigs? You need one more pig to steal this from me, and I wish I hadn't told you that. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have told me yeah. that. That yeah. is very close to the end, though, too. Yeah. It's hunting for pigs now. Yeah, and it's got oh. one more move. Yep, yep. What's gonna happen? Pig! No! Pigs! Oh! <laughs> the one thing I had in life! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I genuinely don't know who's winning now. It's probably <laughs> Vienna now. <laughs> That's 800 plus her 800 sorry, plus the house that she steals hasn't <clears throat> sold. She said never. <laughs> no, never say never. She said never. Sorry, I'm dead hashtag, now. Hashtag I've sorry, never rolled sorry. black on this retirement. <laughs> in Maybe this game or it. ever in your life? No, just in this game. Okay. You gotta go down to the casino and learn how to casino. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you learn to casino? You, you, talk, you talk to Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're like, teach me. Teach me how to me. be lucky. Mi Mr. Bebop, if you could. <laughs> 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 right. Mr. Bebop. <laughs> I feel like Anna's got this. Yeah, I mean, with with the crowns now. Maybe with we'll the see. crowns we'll and the two houses that you know Anna still needs to sell. Oh, I didn't know that. The houses. Anna's, 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 Anna's game. game. I do. Have if Anna houses. has houses, then Anna's she's got, got yeah. this. Anna's got it. I did not know you had houses. Yeah, it doesn't. Even, yeah, oh no, Anna and you won. just got Max. You Anna just won. Wow. Maybe. We'll no, see. you definitely won. It's, the same you know, one. Anna stole the pig of the person zero. with the least money, and then oh. I didn't know you could get zero profit. I didn't know you could get zero profit <clears throat> either. Yeah, maybe that's only if you sell at the final stage. No, probably profit. only on the, the smallest smaller ones. Because I think if they, you sell before you get to the end, you always earn a profit no matter what, even if it's very small. No, I think the choices are always the exact same at the end and at the beginning. Just the, the smaller one, like the $300 house, just doesn't have enough mm -hmm. room to grow. Mm. Or the max 300, I mean. That's fine. I didn't lose nothing. No, you didn't lose nothing. Oof. But I do think that's the first time we've ever seen that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
And a by a mile. Listen, I was, 100%, due, I yeah. was due for a win, okay? I was going to say, what's the last time I won? a one? Not, not a, <coughs> I don't even remember. Damn. My goodness. Wow. wow. That was almost 3,000. Wow. Jazz, you and me are neck and neck. As no, well. we're not even. Yeah. Don't even put yourself up here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I still be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, guys. We were pretty good. fun. <laughs> Listen, I've been fourth so many times. Don't worry about it. It's cool. No, it's cool. No, I just love how I was like, please don't take it from me. <laughs> you issued a uh, challenge, Price. I, I had to. It wasn't to. a challenge. It, it was. was. <laughs> I took it as a challenge. Wow, I almost got all, all the right. stuff it for this map. Hey. Was I got one new thing, and I've got like three more things that I'm only one puzzle piece away uh, from unlocking. Yeah. Nice. I need um, so many more puzzle pieces. I got no puzzle pieces. All but, right, y'all. Because I've already got them all. That's been another game of life. I hope y'all enjoyed. I can't even remember what we talked about today. <laughs> Pokemon cards. Yeah. Christmas. Let Halloween. Us know, let us know what your favorite game collectible is that you have that you're never going to sell. Let us know that down <laughs> below. With that, we're going to move on.